Hi, I'm Andrew Gould and I'm riding a horse today called Varisto. I'm here with a good friend of mine, Daniel Timpson, and we're down in West Sussex. And um, today we're going to show you a little bit about uh, canter half passes and the quality of canter that comes with that. And taking that half pass into a bit of counter canter as well. Because that's something that comes up uh, when you take that step into a medium level is where some people fall short a little bit. So um, hopefully we'll pick up on that today. Good bits, bad bits. How horses get away from us a little bit. Um, but uh, we'll see what happens. So the first half, half half pass we see there is very much quarters trailing. Andrew tells me he's done that on purpose, but I'm not I'm not 100% sure. Could have had a little more quarters in that half pass there. And again, there we see the shoulder is just really leading in the half pass, quarters trailing. Ideally you just need to ride a little half halt on the outside rein just to slow the shoulder down in order to keep the hind legs following. And there we see a quarters leading. That was already visible straight away from the corner. Andrew pushed the, pushed the quarters in from the corner so that he would start the half pass quarters leading. That's quite a common sight that you see in a... In a, a lot of actually trying to ride, it's not actually so easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a common thing you see in uh, riders just sort of approaching the, the new level of medium standard in tests. Maybe if they start thinking about the half pass a little bit too early, already from the corner, the horse comes around the corner with the hind legs leading, and there again we see quarters leading in the half pass. It's really very similar to the same situation we have with the, with the canter pirouettes. It's more to do with the canter, the control you have over the canter, whether you can position the shoulder in the right place and the hind legs in the right place. If you can do that with a good quality canter, normally you get a good quality half pass. Now there you see a canter in good balance, nice half pass. Good. That's again very nice. Nice rhythm. Nice balance. So maybe Andrew if you could just show us those both of those again, maybe across the whole arena. <laughs> Not quite the whole way across. Don't turn up the centre line, use the whole arena. So as Andrew will come through the next corner here, he'll make sure that he starts the half pass with the shoulder leading. And then the hind leg follows. That's really good. So if you look at that from the front, you should see three tracks. It's really the rider's job just to make sure that the hind legs don't come out of the corner first. It's always got to be the shoulder leading in the canter half pass. The hind legs will follow. A nice steady bend. 
a good canter balance and the result should be a lovely half pass. So there you see the shoulder leading from the corner. Again, as we just get in front of the half pass, you can see three tracks. So looking at the half pass now from a different angle, we can clearly see that the shoulder is leading hind legs aren't trailing again we see three tracks there as he goes in front of us and a nice rhythmical balance canter That'll do nicely. that's good um, okay so we've seen half passes with this horse and it's pretty much like Dan was touching on earlier um, the same sort of thing that we're saying in here as canter quality is crucial in the balance you can see a little bit of this horse gets a bit tight in the neck in these half passes, and that does affect the canter. So really, in, in this sort of a training situation, you would spend maybe a little bit more time on the quality of canter and getting a little bit more supple, so that when you then present him with a half pass, the resistance is gone. 